Telmo. And I'm Chula. We, we are, are the, the Little, Little Cooks. Cooks. Today, we're going to make a chocolate and caramel house. But today, we're going to make a pizza. Yum, 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 yum. Very good. All right, let's make a delicious pizza. Great, I really wanted to make a pizza. What kind of pizza are we going to make? Well, we're going to make one that is very common. One with a lot of cheese and tomato. Mm -hmm. It's called Pizza Margarita. Paper and pencil, Telmo. All right, paper and pencil. Ready. I don't think you're going to be able to write anything with that. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Paper and pencil. Ready. Telmo. Oh, darn it. It doesn't matter, Telmo. I woke up today feeling a bit weird. <laughs> must be my superpowers. Yes, that must be it. Well, the ingredients that we need to make our delicious pizza are flour. Salt. Bakery styled yeast. Olive oil. Water. Brown tomatoes. Sliced buffalo mozzarella. Hazel. Well, let's start by making the dough for the pizza. Excellent. It's very simple. We put two and a half cups of flour in a bowl. <laughs> now, half a teaspoon of salt. <laughs> I put a tablespoon of bakery-style yeast inside a small bowl and add a bit of water, just about three tablespoons. And I dissolve it with my fingers. Well, let's continue. We add a cup of lukewarm water. And the already dissolved yeast. And now we knead. We knead. Knead it very well, Telmo. It's very important that it's kneaded very well. Of course, leave it to me. It's all under control. It'll be perfect. We've left it standing half an hour and it has risen very well. Now we need to knead it more. All right. While you knead, I'm going to ask our grown-up to turn on the oven and preheat it to 400 degrees. All right. onto the tray. Did you put a little bit of flour on the tray so that the dough doesn't stick to it? Yes, of course. Now, we'll add the pizza's ingredients. The tomato, the oil and mozzarella, and the basil. Good. First, we place a layer of the ground tomato. One cup will be enough. And a pinch of salt. I'll add the olive oil. All right, but add only two or three tablespoons. Oh. If not, it'll have too much oil, and if it doesn't turn out well, you'll be the only one to eat it. Wonderful! No, Telmo! Okay. And the mozzarella. Special buffalo mozzarella cheese. Right. We add some... Well, we add all of it. It's better not to add so much. Ten slices would have been enough, Telmo. Right. But why be happy with 10 slices of cheese when you can put the whole bowl? <laughs> and now we add the basil. Well, the pizza margarita is ready. Oh, I have an idea. Ay, ay, ay. What do you think if we make a design on the pizza? Like what? It has to be a round one like the pizza. I got it. The grown-up's head. Telmo! Yeah, it'll be fun! All we need is two black...
make a pizza margarita. For the dough, 17.5 ounces of flour, a half teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of bakery style yeast, one and one half cups of lukewarm water. For the covering, one cup of ground raw tomato, 10 basil leaves, three tablespoons of olive oil, 10 slices of buffalo mozzarella cheese, and a pinch of salt. is that we can make it of whatever we want. The ingredients that always have to be there are the cheese and the tomato. But apart from that, you can add tuna, corn, anchovies, chocolate. I'm not sure a pizza with tomato, cheese, and chocolate would taste very good. Well, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> yes, of course. Look, Tula, I'm eating the grown-up's bald spot. And I'm eating his mustache. <laughs> <laughs>